It's not going to be the start. <laughs> Open the door. Hi! It's day five in the booth. You might have noticed I'm not firm. That's because I've stolen their camera while she's recording in the background, Hi. which you probably can't see. Hello. She's there. On her, on my guitar. Which I'm going to pay him back Which she's going to pay me back for eventually, but I bought her a guitar from there. Yeah, because we needed it for the album. I've just done some percussion-y bits to go on to one of the tracks. I did some snare, which you'd probably show here. Uh, which was just with brushes and some cymbals as well, just to go along with that. And a tambourine, which was a bit exciting, because I haven't really played tambourine properly before. the strings are closer together. How are we going to start? How are we going to start? How are we going to do the intro then? If I give you a counting, a four counting to do, do the... Do you know what I could do? I might as well just play the intro how I normally do it. And you can just cut, oh, okay. cut the beginning. Yeah, alright. Can I... I don't know where... <laughs> it'll get you into the... Movie, yeah. Actually, yeah. This is David before he's had a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Before he's had any biscuits. I have, no, I've just had three actually. Three. <laughs> four. Biscuits. Four bourbon creams. I find to be the optimum. So it's really nice going between the control room and the recording room when it's summer. If it, it was winter, it would be a bit horrible if it was raining and snowing. Are you enjoying vlogging? I'm going, I'm 11 minutes in. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be fun to edit. Yeah, that's what I said. I said it somewhere in this video. You'll have to find it. Oh, headphones. Headphones. Wait a minute. There's bongos on all of the tracks at the moment because that was the guide that we put down. There's normally a click track that just go, just the metronome going through. Uh, and then sometimes I put drums on top of that, but we decided because we had it with us basically, we had the congas with me, um, and I normally play it on the songs live, we just decided to lay a really simple conga beat down, so that's why you hear always different weird beats going over the top, but they probably won't be in the final mix, because they do sound a bit off at the moment, so... When this final mix, we get rid of the congas. David's been saying we might put bongos or congas in it somewhere, just as an additional thing, but there won't just be a driving dum -da -da -dum -da -da -dum -da -da -dum from the congas uh, throughout the whole thing. So it'll sound different. It'll sound cleaner and nicer, hopefully. Uh, although I am an amazing conga player. Anyway, now coming up to 18 minutes and 17 seconds. Uh, she told me to vlog, so I'm just vlogging. Uh, she didn't say how long for. The battery lasts for 77 more minutes. So, it's going to be a lot more of me. Here we go. Yes, she hasn't played this much that I know of. She might have been playing it constantly. For those that don't know, when you're recording an album, you record everything separately, unlike when you're live where it's just you play the song and everyone plays the same thing and you just hope that you don't mess up. But when you're recording, just so that there isn't any messing up and so you can control it a lot more, uh, you record each part separately. So to begin with, we just had a click track and I played the conga part that I did, uh, the really simple bit, while I had Fern in the control room playing and I had headphones on so I could hear her playing in time and I just played a really simple beat. And then she went in and did the guide tracks which is just rough versions of the songs. So she did uh, just the guitar and vocals at the same time like you would live. Uh, but we're now getting into 
replacing those with proper actual nice tracks. So we have to play along to the song which is coming through the headphones and play the part that we are playing. Uh, which means that there isn't any mistakes, hopefully. Well, there are a lot of mistakes, but then you can just go back and redo it. She's concentrating a lot. She has to keep tuning her guitar just to make sure that it's in tune. So, fun, have fun editing this because there's gems in here that you didn't even know I'd recorded. I'm going to go and record like a glockenspiel part in a minute and I'm going to try and film myself as I do it. Ooh, challenge. Listen to the ocean drum. Hopefully you can hear it. Wait a minute, I'll turn the camera around. Ah, he stopped playing. He's got this really cool um, ocean drum thing. Diddling? And it has loads of little uh, beads in. And you kind of just move it and it sounds like the ocean and it's really cool. And that's the only way I can think to explain it. So hopefully I'll be able to show you a bit of him playing it. What is my hair doing? See, it sounds just like the ocean. That is amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Whoosh! Yeah, it's really weird because of the rhythm, it doesn't really work with any strumming patterns. So you have to move your fingers on your left hand to the chords yeah. and just strum in a different rhythm. Yeah. It's really confusing. I was trying it on guitar a little while ago. Just to get it in tune. Like now. And And you'll never see the light if you're hiding in the dark. Was that okay? Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. I'm just really um interested in how the chorus is sounding. Now I'm singing it in that way. Sam's doing backing vocals. Perfect. This has been day five in the recording booth. And this is Sam Thurlow, professional percussionist, bongoboy.co.uk. Hit me up. Symbol of my affection. <laughs> <laughs> but um and on that note bonjour it is day four all right hi guys it is day four in the recording booth and we've been spending all day working on one particular song it's a song that some of you might have heard before but we're completely reworking it and making it a lot cooler in my opinion